Hey everybody, Kim Carter here. Um, I just wanted to kick off this new coach training with what I'm going to try really, really hard to make a short video for you guys. Um, so we are just, we're all so excited to have you as a part of this training, as a part of our, our team. Um, we're going to be here supporting you every single step of the way, so don't ever doubt that and don't ever, ever think that you're going to have to do this on your own because you don't. Um, always feel free to reach out to any of us um, your personal you know sponsor myself even if I'm not your coach that's okay we're all on the same team we're all in this together and we're all building together so um, I just wanted to kind of introduce myself again to you guys and go over some things to expect with this training so as you guys know I'm Kim um, I'm the founder of Team Delta Fire I started the team well, I officially started coaching in the fall of 2013, September 2013, and it took me forever to come up with like a team name and actually start a team. So let's just say the team really started in 2014, um, and it grew very slowly at first, and that's normal. Um, so don't expect that you guys are going to have some crazy awesome growth like right off the bat. Um, some people do, but that doesn't happen for most people, and it didn't happen for me. Um, <clears throat> it took me about nine months, well, about six months to hit Diamond. Um, now I've got some other coaches that have done it in, you know, two and three months flat, and that's great. Um, but it's it's all kind of on your own time, and it does take a while to build. Um, this year, the team has grown like crazy. I mean, things have skyrocketed. And so you're in at a very good time because now we... We know what we need to do. We have all of these really great trainings in place. We have all these templates for all these groups in place. Training documents, documents for customers, like all this stuff that's already done for you. So, um, you know, you're in at a really good time. We've got things figured out now. <laughs> um, so anyway, I am currently... Um, a six-star diamond coach, and I'm one-star diamond in my second business center, which that's probably like a foreign language to you right now, but you'll learn all about it. So um, I am hoping to be an elite coach for 2015. I'm on track right now, so hopefully that all ends up panning out. But um, exciting times. So why do we do these trainings? Well, one thing, I had support um, from my upline coaches and they have been a tremendous help to me um, but there's a lot of things that I did wrong that I wasn't really told otherwise and I want to help you guys have the best experience and build as efficiently as possible and avoid some of the mistakes that I made um, there are a lot of things that I would have done a lot different if I had known so that's kind of the point of uh, part of this training is you know to truly teach you guys these things um, you know I was I was really scared about posting on social media. We all are, and that this training is going to get you over that. It's okay to be nervous about it. Um, I never used to post on Facebook, ever. Like, I was somebody that would sit there every once in a while and scroll through people's pictures, and that's it. I didn't comment on them, maybe every once in a while, but I never put, like, a status update up or anything like that. Um, we'll teach you how to kind of make that transition. Um, and not sound really, you know, weird, like Beachbody just took over your life and your Facebook page. <laughs> That's not what you want to do. Um, we'll talk about what to expect, you know, things like starting free challenge groups, free little clean eating groups that you can team up uh, with each other and with us as, as your upline coaches um, to kind of get things started. Um, a lot of people, you know, don't don't start off thinking that you need to run these groups by yourself because you don't. We don't expect you to do that. We have groups all the time anyway, so jump in with us. Um, but starting with some little free groups is a great way to get people to kind of, you know, see what you're doing and see what this is all about without being pushy or invasive or salesy or anything like that. Um, again, don't expect that this is going to happen overnight because it's not. Um, there are going to be hard times. Just like with any business, any new business you start is hard. Um, believe me, I know. I also started a veterinary practice. It's not an easy thing to do. You go through a lot of rough times, and you will in this business as well. But the benefits of this, if you keep your vision in place, and you know why you're doing this, and you keep that drive and keep that focus, man, I mean, I can't even hardly put into words 
what a blessing it is and what an incredible opportunity it is if you take it and work at it. Um, and that's another thing, you know, we are here for you, most definitely. I am here for you all the way. I will support you all the way. I can't do the work for you. That's something that you have to commit to. Um, you have to put the time in to engage in this training and engage in our groups and make something out of it. Um, you know, that's just the commitment that you have to do if you if you want to build this business. It's going to take some time, not a lot of time. I mean, you can take 30 minutes a day. If that's all you have, that's fine. But at least through this training, commit that 30 minutes a day, even if you have to get up a little bit earlier. I mean, this is a whole new life that you can build for yourself if you want to. I've done it. It's not out of reach, and it's taken me two years. That's really, like, in the grand scheme of things, that's no time at all. Think about this. It took me, you know, all of school, went through undergrad, four years of undergrad, four years of vet school, a year-long internship, and then I practiced for another, what, seven or eight years, five of which of those years I actually owned my own veterinary practice. That's a lot of time to get up to, you know, a specific salary, which honestly didn't change much for me. Um, <laughs> at all, even when I owned my own practice, you know, it wasn't like I was giving myself bonuses or raises all the time, because I surely wasn't, um, in two years, so that's like 16 years worth of time there to get up to a specific salary as a veterinarian, in two years time, I have replaced that as a Beachbody coach, two years, that's nothing in the grand scheme of things, if you put in the work on the front end, man, it's going to pay off like you wouldn't believe, if you put in the work and um, so just keep that in mind um, like I said there's gonna be hard weeks there's gonna be hard months months when all you get are rejections and that's okay we've all been there we've all been through it and part of what makes this company I think so cool is that they really stress personal development I personally was not someone that ever thought about personal development that ever believed in personal development um, I, th I had the wrong impression. I was misinformed on it, and I was wrong about it. And I had in my mind that personal development was something for people that, you know, had all these crazy issues going on and, you know, all these really bad situations and, you know, I don't know, just all kinds of stuff like that that I had in my head. And, um... I was like, I don't, I don't need that, you know, that's, that's not me, I don't have all this awfully horrible stuff going on in my life that I need help with, you know, and once I got involved with coaching and actually started reading personal development, I realized how wrong I was in my impression of it, and it's all about learning about yourself, we can all improve ourselves, we can all become better people, um, we all need help in all kinds of different areas of our lives, whether it's business building or relating to people or, you know, getting more consistent at goal setting or, I mean, whatever it is, becoming a better leader, um, reading about clean eating so that you improve your own health. That's all personal development. And that has made so much difference to me. And that was one of these surprise areas that I had no idea, you know, I was going to come across as a Beachbody coach. And it has made me think completely differently about a lot of things and one thing is failure and I will throw it out there one of my favorite personal development books that I've read so far is called Failing Forward um, I think it was by John Maxwell I have to check but Failing Forward look it up on Amazon get it if you want to it is awesome and the reason I say that is because you will deal with what you perceive is failure in this business because you're gonna have people that are gonna tell you no you're going to have people that get, you know, frustrated and turned off by all of your health and fitness posts. And you know what? Who cares? That's all right. If I turn one person off for every five people that I truly help change their lives in some sort of way, whether it's just losing weight and feeling confident about their self, whether it's getting off of a blood pressure medication or some kind of GI medication, whether it's truly changing their whole financial life and letting them quit their job or allowing them to quit their job to be home with their kids. That is so much more important to me than those couple of people 
that I might be annoying with my healthy posts. So that's my take on it. Um, but you're going to have a lot of things that you perceive as failures, months that you don't do well, and like I said, times when everybody's telling you no, and it's okay. If you're not having those failures, it means you're not working hard enough, and you're not getting out of your comfort zone enough, and that's what the book Failing Forward really focuses on, and for me, that was a very big change in mindset, because I'm a very detail-oriented person, I'm a perfectionist type person, I don't want to fail, I don't like to fail, and you know, this book it really taught me that failure is okay. It's part of every person becoming a successful person. You're going to fail along the way, and that's okay. And it's how you react to those failures um, in those different situations that's going to set you apart. So think about that. Um, Okie doke. This is already longer than I wanted it to be. But um, again, this truly is a real business if you make it one. So make it one if that's your goal. You know, if you have these big financial goals or whatever, um, you have to put the time in. And again, that's not something that we can do for you. We're here for you, but you have to put in the work. So, so do it. Um, it's going to reward you in so many ways, <laughs> and I'm excited. Um, okay, so you want to be a blogger, and this is what we're going to talk about in our group too. We'll talk a lot about social media. Um, you want to share your journey with people. You want to share your story. Share how you're feeling. Share the stories of us, your teammates, um, versus selling, versus posting a stock image of the 21 Day Fix Challenge Pack promotion that might be on sale. Um, that's not going to draw anybody in. You know, that's like seeing one of these Ray-Ban advertisements that nobody pays attention to. Make it real. Put your own personal spin on it. Um, Pictures of you doing these workouts, pictures of you drinking your Shakeology, and you living this healthy lifestyle, that's what's going to appeal to people. They want to see you. They don't want to see some stock image that Beachbody created. So we'll talk about stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. A big thing for social media, just to throw it out there now, no more complaining, no more negativity. That might sound kind of stupid, but... And we've got enough negativity in the world and enough negativity on Facebook. That's not inspiring to anybody. Um, that's not going to draw anybody in as far as your health and fitness journey and you being a coach. That's not going to do a single thing for a single person. So leave it off. Um, not to say we don't all have bad days because we do. And we all have bad things that happen. You know, difficult circumstances, whatever it is. And that's okay to talk about. But, you know... And this comes kind of with personal development, too. See the positive. Try to see the positive in every situation. And put a positive spin on it if it's something that you're going to post about. Um, you know, so that it's not all down in the dumps stuff. You know, try to, try to at least see the light at the end of the tunnel for it. And, and make, make it positive in some sort of way when you're telling the story about whatever the bad experience is or the bad day that you had. So think about that. Making your profile public, you go ahead and do that. If you have pictures that you don't want everybody in the world to see, take them off. Um, you know, it's really important. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to think of what I needed to say, but it's really important that your profile is public. And I know that's scary. It was very scary for me at first, too. But I have gotten so many new customers through friends of friends that never would have found me and never would have been able to communicate with me and see my posts. So it really is a big deal. Um, go back and start friending, start friending everybody that you've ever met. People that you went to school with. Um, look at friends' lists of friends. And friend the people that you actually know, not just every random person, but people that you know. And start building those relationships back up. Don't talk beach body with them at first. Start talking real talk, you know. Hey, your kids are so cute. What kind of sports are they involved with, you know? Real life stuff and build up those relationships again. It will get people interested in you by you being interested in them. And that's also very important. Um <clears throat> pay attention to your friends' pages. Look through the news feed, not like for hours a day, but you know, every once in a while and comments on their pictures that's going to get them to feel special because you're interested in them and in turn they're going to be more interested in you um i want you all to send out an email to all of your friends and family that 
just tells them what you're doing. Not trying to sell anything, but just simply saying, you know, this is a new journey that I'm that I've been on and I've had so much fun and I've had such great results already and you know so I'm gonna start coaching blah 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 and just you know hey I'd love for you to join me if you're interested and if not fine you know but just in a fun you know informative way though so let your family and friends know shoot out an email just to update them hey hey guys this is what I'm doing if they want to join you they'll ask you questions if not no big deal but now they know um let's see here uh, success starters this is a really cool thing so you guys saw our video from summit that was in the expo group um, we had so much fun and you want to be there you really want to be there like it is unbelievably life-changing in so many ways and the team bonding is it's really cool so if you hit success club 5 which we'll talk about in your first three months as a coach um, you will get a free tip ticket to summit next year so we'll talk about that in training but go ahead and get that in your mind that's helping three people a month essentially uh, three challenge packs or two challenge packs in a Shakeology order that's it um, it's very doable so go ahead and get that in your mind that you want to do that for the next three months and get that free ticket to summit um, we'll talk about not being an undercover coach you know again people need to know that this is what you're doing without you shoving it in their face but you need to talk about it or else people will never know that they can come to you for help um, we'll talk let's see hobby coaches versus career coach again if you want to make if you want to build this business you need to be on team calls you need to be engaged in the training and the groups that we're doing um, you know and you need to actively be talking to us and communicating with us so that we can help you build your business so um, well, I mean, there's all kinds of information that's going to be coming at you. The format is going to be Monday through Friday, there will be one post a day. Some will be short, some will be a little bit longer videos. Um, they'll pretty much all have a little bit of an assignment at the end, and it's all for your benefit. It's all for you to learn how to start doing this and get this working for you. Uh, the weekends will be catch-up, but try not to get behind because what tends to happen is if if you start using the weekends as catch-up all the time, you just fall behind and you honestly you never catch up. So take that 30 minutes a day and just get the post done, do the training, engage, talk to us, comment on the training posts, ask us questions. That's what we're here for. Again, you are not in this by yourself by any means. Um, never you know feel like you're going to bother me if you have a question ask me you know I'm here like all the time so I'm here for you guys this is what I do and I love every second of it um, and just get to know us you know we have so much fun together even if we're not all physically with each other all the time because we're not we're all across the country and that's really cool but we talk to each other constantly all the time you know online and on messenger and on the phone and things like that so get involved with us get to know us uh, we want to get to know you. Um, we're a really fun group of people, very supportive group of people, and um, we're just excited about welcoming you into this team and teaching you everything that we can. So um, get ready. It's going to be fun.